Welcome to our channel. Let us pray every day. Today, we will be coming against the spirit of fear, the spirit of fear and the spirit of worry. I'm going to share several scriptures here today, and then we will go into prayer. The purpose of the scripture is to build your faith so that you can believe God for what it is that he is saying concerning fear and concerning worry. Then after we have built your faith, then we will release your faith to stand against the spirit of fear and worry and you receive the peace of God. First Peter chapter three, verse 14. But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear their threats. Do not be frightened. Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love and self-discipline. Isaiah 35, verse four. Say to those with fearful hearts, be strong, do not fear, your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. John chapter 14, verse one. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believed in God, believe also in me. Joshua chapter one, verse nine. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Psalms chapter 34, verse four. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Psalms 94, verse 19. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. 
Psalms 138, verse 8. The Lord will vindicate me. Your love, Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. And lastly, Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39 says, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Father God, we thank you so very much for your word. Your promises are yes and amen. We find comfort in knowing that you are always with us and you would never leave us nor forsake us. So Father God, we cast the whole of our care on you, knowing that you care so very much for us. We find comfort in knowing that we rest under your shadow and there we will find protection, safety. You are God and you love us. Thank you so very much for caring for us. Thank you so very much for keeping us in perfect peace as we trust in you, Father, removing the fear away from the midst of us. We thank you, Father God. There is nothing to be afraid of for your perfect love cast out all fear. So we release that love right now, Father. We release your love to flow to every individual right now. May they experience the a God kind of love that you created them for a purpose and a plan and you love them. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love, Father. Your perfect love. Oh, we receive that love. And we come against the spirit of fear. We command you to go. We come against the spirit of worry and we command you to loose us. We shall not worry. We shall not be afraid. Repeat that after me. I shall not fear. I shall not worry. I receive the love of God and God's perfect love cast out all fear in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you so very much for your love cast out all fear. Therefore, we are fear free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, that concludes our session for this time. Thanks for joining in and continue to pray every day. Until next time, we'll see you then. And if you have any prayer requests, you can send them in to me at letuspraveveryday at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you and praying along with you.